What is up, you guys? And of course, as always, welcome back to another Wi-Fi Bell versus Hannah Panna. Also, a really good friend of mine, and really happy to battle her in PU because of well, she's really, really good at this game. To be honest, uh, it's one of those battlers that I know going up against her, I need to go to my way to do well. I really, really, really need to fend off versus her properly. Now, I decided to um, build a team around P Rain and Farfetch. Because I really wanted to use Farfetch for some reason. I, I got the I got the feeling. So so here we are. <laughs> and my opponent there, Hannah, has probably the one number one check versus Rain teams overall in Polygraph. Her team is as follows Lipod, Alolan Sand Slash, Roselia, Polygrath, Dedane, and um, Oricorio Ghost. So we see a really good spin blocker with Defog, and uh, we see potentially two Hazard Stackers. So I already knew from the get-go, this is going to be a Polygraph with uh, the bulky Polygraph with the Circle Throw and Scald. The only reason that set is regarding is because Jellison roam right now PU. But if you like a Jellison, that, that set of Polygraph, disgusting. <laughs> so hard to deal with. So I need to do everything in my power to knock it out with either Farfetch or Lodi Colio. Uh, besides that, I have Cabotops, I have Volbeat, I have Clydul for some reason, and uh, Beatic. Now, this comes without saying, but I really want to just have it said. This team should really have Oricorio Electric over Farfetch. It is by far the better choice because of, you know, Rain and Hurricane and, you know, Electric moves overall for to kind of dent the Pokemon that can deal with, um, with Electric Aqua, right? Uh, the other one being that Cradle Leaf probably is a better option than Claydool, but since I optimized for Farfetch, I also needed a, something that was, you know, could spin and set up rocks that wasn't all on Sandslide because I have Beatic. So I really just want to have that said. There is a flaw with the team, but I, I wouldn't consider it flaw because I have Farfetch. Farfetch is awesome and should have respect. Sometimes. So anyway, I'm going to actually lead off with Farfetch as a fought in front of Getco, it was a fair lead. The only Pokemon doing well versus this would be potentially Sandslash and to an extent DNA. Uh, and my opponent here gonna lead off with um, Lipod. Little does she know that I get first impression. She totally blacked out on this and she says a choice banded is going to be a choice banded first impression. It's gonna knock out Lipod. Best turn ever. Do fear the Farfetch. <laughs> and that's how we start off the game. Boom, bada boom. You wouldn't know it was a 40 turn battle with that start, wouldn't you? Anyway, goes to the very, very easy lead here, the, you know, Core Lowland Sand Slash. Um, it is a great spin blocker because, well, any type of um, recovery spinners from me are, of course, like Clay Little or weak to the Icicle Crash. She goes for very easy Stealth Rocks. Um, Beatic force out Sand Slash. This is a faster. I mean, no one fast. This is a bulky Sand Slash for sure. This is a sweeping Sand Slash. Come on. Uh, she, she, so she goes to Polyrath. And um, I think I went directly for a silver power just to kind of get the damage going. And it doesn't do necessarily anything. It is absolutely the bulkiest of bulky polyrathes. And um, I really don't have a switch in here. I think I decided to go to um, Lord of Colo to force it out. Uh, hoping she didn't go directly for um, a circle throw. Uh, but she go directly for a circle throw. And it does quite right. Uh, and well, this Polarize is going to be a Nusion. So I get into my Eurasia, and uh, I have her power, and does a royal damage, I also have Rapid Spin, uh, but I'm definitely not in a position where I would say that I want to risk it and take a Scald. She was possibly feeling I was going to go for an itch Stealth Rock Spinning, but I really couldn't risk it. Um, and I think that hurt me in a get-go, because she goes to her Spin Block or Choreo, I am absolutely not fast on this Oricorio, and I see Hurricane will absolutely knock me out. So I get tons of Resilio on my Lodicolo. Uh, so I decided to bring in Cabotops because I resist at least the Hurricane. And um, luckily, I should say, she misses that. Uh, so I go for the very, very, very easy Soul Stance. Um, from my point of view, my best type of play here was trying to dent Polygraph as well as I could. Cabotops was necessarily not the sweeping Pokemon this game. It could do well, but it's absolutely not the sweeping Pokemon. It more looks that Beatty can beat that once uh, Polarize is gone. So I go for the Rock UMC here and try to do as much damage as possible. In in sense here, I really, I don't really, I just want to have that said, 
I really, really was hoping that um, she didn't go for something like her wrist after this. Continental Crush will absolutely not knock out um, Polyrath, but at the same time, I do get the Dentine power I possibly need, and I'm still a plus two, like, I'm still fine. Uh, but no, we don't knock that out, and even worse, she goes to Circle Throw, and... Uh, yeah, the worst part about this is that, in theory, it doesn't matter which one comes in, because it can't hurt it. And the worst part of the scenario was to get Volbit in, which only has U-Turn and Toxic to get it with Roost and Rain Dance. So, she's free to rest here. I get possibly the worst switch in. Now, I go for Toxic here, it doesn't matter. Uh, she goes for a rest, Polar is back in action, Capitals wastes his Rock UMC, and... Um, I'm starting to just feel... How do I knock this Pokemon out? I really... I couldn't tell you. Um, so she switches out, go to the Sand Slash, and I think I went for Rain Dance here, just to get Rain going. As, uh, besides Polymrath, there really aren't anything to enjoy in anything that either Cabotops or Ludicolo or Betty can do. But it should be stated that none of them can hit uh, Polymrath for super effective damage, and that is... or, I guess... Lodicolo can, but it really isn't my main switch in. As I go for U-turn, as she switches out to her um, Polyrath, and I have two options. I either go to my Farfetch, trying to dent it, or go to Razor, trying to get the spin going, and I decided to get the spin going. Um, the best I can say here is that since it was full HP anyway, uh, Claydol, in all sense of imagination, is a sack play. Uh, she decided to say, or switches out to go to her Oricorio, I actually, no, now that I think about it, I do believe I went for Stealth Rocks instead. Um, potentially knowing she could try to spin block me. Um, but yeah, this was this was starting to get really scary really fast. Uh, still, no Pokemon has fallen, but it's absolutely in time. Now, I was feeling she's going to go for her Revelation Dance. Uh, silly me. <laughs> because she goes for a Fly MC. And, and it goes without saying, my Pokemon... Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. My Surfetch is gone here. And it's my main, like, switch into Rosalia and Polyrath to be able to knock them out by one shot in them by C or a Choice Bandit Braybird. Losing Farfetch here was so unnecessary. I would have done everything to stay in with Claydool here. Uh, really, really, really regretted that decision. As I go into my Tequila and. Um, I think I went for an Ice Beam here, um, and we are, of course, knocking out Oricorio, but I don't know the cost. The cost was absolutely don't, not worth it. Um, and this was just unfortunate. So she goes into her Olena, which is Roselia. I could stay in, go for an Ice Beam, sack play, uh, absolutely, but at this point, as stated, I don't have a switch in for Polyrath, and I really, really need to think, reconsider. Um, she goes with Touch Pump, that's, oh, no, she was even smarter, she went for Giga Drain, did massive damage, um, because it has 100 base special attack, of course it did, um, but I don't need to worry about her being able to spin block no more, so I'm gonna get the rocks out of the way, and, um, trying to actually reset the rain, uh, so she goes for another Giga Drain, and I'm still here thinking, you know, what can I do to even knock this Pokemon out? It is beyond me right now. It is possibly impossible for me to, to kill this Pokemon. So I go to Ashburger. I know her best switch is Polyrath. I know. I am fully aware. I was considering switching out to my Lodicolo, trying to bait in back and forth to Roselia, but I didn't. Go for Icicle Crash. I missed that. Of course I do. Doesn't matter. Wouldn't hurt it. And I'm still here. Ah, dear God, what I do to Polyrath. I mean, I, I lost this game, right? I can't do anything. <laughs> so, I switch in Mikkel Paulson. <laughs> Hope you Danish people get that reference, but yeah. Um, and I, like I said, I can't do anything. I can force her to circle throw me eventually. Um, but all I'm really are considering back and forth is, do I go for another rain dance? Do I go for roost? Try to recover? Do I U-turn? See if I can get something better out of it. Am I slower if I U-turn? Um... Those all those thoughts went from my head as Dedene comes in, and uh, she goes. Well, since she is Dedene here, I'm I wasn't convinced that Dedene could win versus me one versus one. Uh, it could be the Sheik Poach uh, Toxic set with Sub, 
but even if, let's say this that said, I still outspeed her, so I get that toxic because of prankster anyway. As uh, she goes to substitute, thinking I'm sure that this Pokemon wasn't prankster. Um, I can only assume at least. So from this point on, I really I, I'm staying in here. Um, I won't risk anything. I go for Rain. I do like. I really don't want to U-turn into a Pokemon with Substitute because my remaining Pokemon will get absolutely dented by DNA. You wouldn't think they would be, but quite frankly, Thunderbolt is not a nice time. Uh, <laughs> even here, Thunderbolt does like, I do believe, almost 25%, and that's that's impressive and scary at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, I keep saying like this is a slow part of the game, and it, it wasn't supposed to be, but I was basically trying to um get the them or the numbers between us lowered as much as possible um this is more the way of attacking what's you turn i really didn't want to switch out to something that it it, it would hurt in in return here i think in i think that was the right series of plays i don't believe it's something nice to look at but i absolutely think that was my only only means of attacking here was trying to do something like this and um i do believe her sheep poach kicks in now uh, with a round of toxic here and i was feeling or fearing it was a figure berry it would prolong everything uh, but no it's worse it's pataya berry so she gets her special attack boosted and of course the cheek pose kicks in and the recovers quite a lot and and i am now forced to of course get this ball bit even further lowered and uh, it is unfortunate, but I really needed this pokemon to be alive to because in theory volbit can beat Roselia but you were, of course, waste my roost turns, which is awful. But I really had no other means. And my next part here was to U turn to um, see it fall as dead. But due to her special type being raised, I needed to keep roosting. And and what do you know? She goes to Sandslash, and I'm still here. What do I switch into? <laughs> I was struggling badly here. Um, I needed her to find a way to knock Volby out pop properly. Uh, I don't believe she kind of got that. Like, she is absolutely in a position where she can, but um, I think she struggled to find a lead way into it, and that's made it tougher for her. So I go, I believe, here to Cabot's Hops, and I take a big risk here. If I miss this one out, I'll lose the game. If I get this one right, I still possibly lose the game. But I went for Sword Stance. She switches out, go to Polyrath. Um, so I, in theory, need her sleep rest or sleep talk turns to end here, or or rather that she gets rest instead of anything else. So we get the swallow sense going, and I'm gonna go for superpower, hoping it does over half. Um, but I get a very, very, very lucky crit here. But what's even worse is that, well, she didn't go for sleep talk. Uh, she kind of choked there thinking she or i was thinking too she was gonna wake up to be honest so i was kind of happy about this because that means that polarite does die to any matchup i can throw at it besides the volbeat so i followed up with a stone edge it, that might have been dumb but that's what i did <laughs> we knock out polarite which is awesome um so we're now looking a bit more stellar i wouldn't say we look good but we look better um so she switches dead and a it dies by default so i actually switch into my mikkel pulse on uh basically to get something going um and she follows that up with a thunderbolt gets i guess a fair chunk of damage onto uh, my my vault beat but at the same time at this point the only thing i can do and uh, is try to get damage on the Roselia because sand slash is dead by any matchup i can throw at it uh, hands down but Roselia is a giver. It's a Pokemon I can't defeat. I don't know how to defeat it unless having Volbeat in a good amount of health. And I need to kind of reset the rain also because I do want the extra damage I put to force Roselia to take as much damage as possible. Uh, so she goes for a spinning there. That's quite right. I do decide to set on a rain dance. And she's going for the first time go for an ice cream crash versus my Volbeat. And here's where I realize that. Um, well, Icicle Crash hurts <laughs> a lot even, and um, that's an issue because it does over half, and I have no real means of switching into anything here, and in theory, if I go for a U-turn, uh, I'm going to be slower, and, and not only that, the worst part is that uh, I'm going to lose my Volbeat, I can't reset the rain, 
Um, so I was thinking back and forth, what do I do? But decided eventually that my only player is to sack Volbeat, and that's the end of it. Uh, but she overpredicts here, go for U-turn, or go for Earthquake as I go for my U-turn. So I still die to Stealth Rock no matter what, but I get the safe switch in with Cabotops. And uh, my only play with Cabotops is go for Liquidation, go for as much damage as possible, hoping I can score something out of this. Uh, because if I don't, I can only hope that my Beatig works to be able to wrap up the game. Uh, so she switches out, trying to take this liquidation as best as she can. And it turns out, Cabotops really don't care, ever, as liquidation will do just about half of damage here. So, Roselia isn't a switching. And that means that Cabotops wins the game. It's a 4-0 victory. For some reason, I actually come out on top of this game. And uh, I would say it has everything to do with the, the way Polygraph fell, unfortunately. Um, now, I'll say like this, and I think I'm being completely as fair as possible here. Uh, she needed to kill my um, my Capitops no matter what with the Polygraph. And I think the superpower without the crit would have done roughly around half. And I would have lost defenses and antagonists. Whether or not she wanted to risk me going for another superpower in contrast to her waking up um we know already that it should have gone like this super power connect does does roughly half amount of damage and then that will be followed up with her going for a sleep talk is whether or not she gets skull or circle throw or another rest uh, so she had a 60 percent chance of killing me in theory um and it, yeah that's basically what the game boils down to uh, getting a crit there helped me a lot but her missing that she had another round of sleep really, really was decisive. Uh, should be said though, like, let's say she forgot about that anyway. That crit made uh, it possible for me of not to, um, or to KO her with two superpowers. Uh, or in this sense, superpower and stone edge. Uh, had she not, had I not critted, I would have been forced possibly to, to go for two superpowers. And I don't believe that would have knocked her out since it was, of course, in plus one instead of plus two. But that's the game, like, I, w I had a great time here. Um, I absolutely don't deserve the win, and I think anybody who saw this game properly knows that. Uh, and to Hannah, you know, GG. It, it was a fun game, I had a lot of fun. And that Polygraph, you know, it's getting a revival here. That, that set is so annoying, and yet it worked, because if you don't have Jellicent, that's a Pokemon that's pretty much uncheckable in theory, and it works so well, I love that set. Awful to face off against, but really good to, of course, does naturally high damage. Uh, so, anyway, guys, thank you for always, always watching, and uh, yeah, until next time, take care.